hello guys welcome to sovereign solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been and um, we are going to look at something very very interesting and a bit short we want to show you how to get processional information on google Ads. You know, most times we use Google Ads a lot. Um, there are videos on the channel where we have used um, Google Ads to actually solve quite some problems. So we have used it to get control, we have used it to um, import them, we imported them, ship files there, Excel files, you know, there are so many things we've done there. Now, this particular data you can see was actually created with them. Um, we actually used add part right good so we actually created part then moved it from google ads to um, i think um, gps visualizer to we wanted to get the the contour of this area that's just the assignment now let's say for adventure you don't want to go that far you just want to view the elevation data like how undulating the terrain is maybe within that your area of um, study or maybe your area of concentration of where your project site is so that's what we want to show to you so the first thing is that you need to create parts and we've told you come to this tool and then you create as many parts as you want to create right Good. because it is with this part that we are going to see the elevation data or the professional information of the terrain so that's what we've done then the next thing is that um you now okay you find it under your places right good when you've done that you save it you find it under your places so this is an example yeah so you just do what you right click on it then you go to what show elevation profile now what this will give to you is that good you can see this graph or you can see yeah good the graph you can see this graph that is showing the elevation of, of that, and you can also see the marker on like moving on your area of interest you can see the marker there good. so what it means is that wherever your cursor is the cursor of your mouse or maybe wherever your cursor is it actually shows you the elevation of that particular point then relative to let's say the mean sea level which is zero right so now if you look at it very well you see that this place is a bit high okay let me try to explain this is a road and then there's a water body around there so by the time you know that if we because i know the terrain i am able to interpret it that way but you know if it's a terrain you're not familiar with and you've just gotten this particular um ad map sorry ad part on your terrain with this particular graph you can be able to know okay since there is a sharp um undulation here and then it's like it's coming to a collection point then it means there's a collection point here because this um, hill here is coming down to this valley. Let's just call it that. This hill coming down to this valley. More like there's a collection point here, which means along this terrain, you will see now that there are what? There are collection points. And most of those natural collection points are water bodies. You see them most times as rivers, oceans, and stuff like that. They are collection like um, water bodies. So now, since we know the terrain, or since I know the terrain, I've been able to deduce that and you can even see from the Google that the coloration of this particular area is different. So there's water body around there. So with this now we have been able to know okay, we are actually having a higher terrain here and a lower terrain here. We come up here, it's a bit high, we come down here, it's low. So with this you can now see as you move across the graph, you can see how what it is being depicted on your area of concentration. And their relative elevation are also what are also depicted. So you can see the you can see the values, right? Good. You can see the values and some other stuff. But the most important thing now is that with this you can do now. This is the highest point, and the highest point is by the roadside, right? Good. And then still along the roadside, there is still a point that is having an erosion. If I'm not making a mistake because I'm quite familiar with that terrain. There's a point that is having like I think an erosion or so it's eroded to some extent. So this actually shows how what the terrain is now. It's coming down. It's 
coming down. You can see until it gets to where the water gets to where the collection is. So this is the water body. Then I think we are still going up the road. Good. We are up the road. And even the road does not have the same elevation, which means even on the road, the road is still coming down. So with this now, you might not want to maybe just gives you a guide or a direction. You might not want to be confused again to know that okay, this particular terrain is not flat or the there are some information here yeah, average slope, maximum slope, elevation gain and loss, and you know some other information here. Yeah. So with this, you can be able to know good minimum, average, and maximum. So the minimum we have is 64, the maximum is 181, and that 181 should be around good, it should be around there yeah, because that's why I would put that's 181. So that that's the point on this area of constitution that your area of interest rather that is the highest. And then by the time you come down, you might still see your lowest, which is around them um, what 64. So with this, as we said earlier, you have been informed, you know, that giving you a rough sketch, quite rough, that giving you a rough sketch to know how the terrain is. So by the time you now get your maybe your contour map or maybe your your watershed or maybe your your dam or whatever elevation information you want to get from it you have been able to know that, okay there are some points that are very very low since on this particular area we are working there is a water here yeah, or a water body here yeah. so since there's a water body yeah, that means the, the the direction of your slope or yeah the direction of your slope should be directed towards what this collection point so with this we've said earlier yours might not be as rough as this it just be a line from this point to this point Another line from this point to this point using the path when we mean a line just where the that path just come you pick a point from here to here you save it then you still pick another point from here to here again and you save right but by the time you save them like that you can now come and start over around them by the time you over around the graph rather you will be seeing what the elevation at each of those points is then it will now inform you how uneven your terrain is that is if it is uneven but if it is very very flat you will see that the graph will be the the, the slope will not be this sharp so yeah um, thanks for coming to class we hope we have been able to um, provide solution to this in particular solving problem if you raise was it really a solving problem if you know you have any question contribution or maybe some other stuff you want to talk to us about you can leave that on the comment section or you can send us a mail or a dm on any of our platforms and we also need your support you can actually support the channel you can still contact us to get the support information or you check the channel description on how you can support us we are going to see you on our next video until then keep being good at what you're doing and have a nice time bye